So guys, position of the Wii for uh, advanced, we're gonna start from an open grass situation. Uh, we are halfway through the pass and we're gonna get caught into a half guard. I'm gonna show you a very good way to take the back from the situation. And it's gonna be a ninja back take. So are you ready for that? Let's try. So let's say that you know the guard is open, we're able to almost pass, but boom, he my pie's gonna get me into the half guard. Just a normal half guard. So let's see first what is uh, ideally what the person on the bottom looks into this position. So once somebody is on the bottom, he wants to frame it because even if I almost pass his guard, if he, my partner has frames and is sideways, he's still a good option for him. My goal is he wants to number one, don't let don't let him get close. So I want number one frame two, and eventually I want to move on chest to chest, hug him, and I want to be right here, gain the access to chest to chest connection with the underhood. But what happens if the person on, on the bottom is going to be able to work the underhook first? So it's going to move the arm underneath my armpit. And so now my goal change because the more you are pushing towards him, the more leverage he has to swim under, boom, and go far for my back take right there. So what I don't want whenever I have the underhook on, he has a dynamic on me, so I go for the underhook, boom. I don't want to push towards him. So the goal for me now is to find a way to don't allow him to go for my back. So at the really beginning, I'm gonna close my arm, I can get just up, hand, get the material right here, keep my elbow closed, so don't give me the chance to like I carve the arm and then swim. What I like is also a control. It's gonna be hard in this case to free my knee off the ground, my right knee. So I wanna move my left knee off the ground, and I wanna control his pants on the other side. So the bottom leg is the one that I wanna control. Once you guys have your left hand making the control on the outside of his pants, it's just fine to start having your left knee on the ground. If you guys are here with no control, obviously you don't want to lift the knee up because you can then recover a better position moving the knee towards his chest. But now, even if he does want to make uh, like a recover the guard, recover the guard now, he can't. My left hand is a strong position here. And I need this control because you will see that I'm gonna switch my position off of the uh, half guard. I'm gonna be in an invert half guard. But once to do that, I always like to start sliding my arm over and use my elbow on the ground. My thumb is inside. So now quickly, that's why I wanna control the pants, I wanna control, and once your right elbow is on the mat, I already wants to be here in this position. I wanna track his leg with my grip. So now, most likely, person on the bottom will start to lock the triangle over my knee right there, very good. So my goal for me now is to don't allow him to move down the hook again. Because here you can easily, if you don't keep the pressure, you're gonna get down the hook again. And you guys are, have the same problem. So once I'm here, I want to keep his knees close. When I pull, I wanna get deep. When I use my shoulder now against his uh, chin. Whenever my partner on the bottom cannot face to me, it's hard to make bridge or hip escapes or work his attack. So I wanna be heavy right here. So now, what I want to do, two things. I don't want to allow the person on the bottom to unlock the triangle. Obviously, you know, if you guys have this move, uh, this move in mind, obviously. So eventually, you like keep the legs really tight, and I cannot, like I use my shin, I cannot use my foot, I don't have space. So as he makes so strength to keep it locked, I don't want to give him the chance to unlock the triangle. So I like to go with my hand on my partner's toes, on the outside. If you guys need to move, you can move as well. So my head from the outside when I come from my partner toes. Now what I want to do here from being heavy, I want to now move my right arm over my partner's body. So what I like to do always, as I have this control, and it's still gonna be hard for him to bridge or do whatever because I control his feet, I pause, and now I gain the access and in front of his arm. So I move my arm here and control. What I want to do, control my partner's pants, right, my right elbow on the metal right. What I want to do now is basically to be parallel to my partner's body. So look, uh, here is where he's the ninja part. I want to bring my partner towards me and I want to keep my foot, his foot control, because if he's going to open the guard, he's, he's going to change the position too. So now uh, my right hand on the pants, I want to just kick straight and now uh, keep escape. Pull my partner towards me, I'm going to climb already. I already have my seat back, pull him towards me. Don't look 
to use the second hook already. Your right leg it will stretch your foot to the first hook. I stretch him out, then with the second hook. After three seconds, you can get the points. So let's do it one more time. Let's move this way. So let's start already in a half guy, right here. My part is on the side. It's too late for me to hug him and flat him because he's gonna gain the underhook. So what I want to do, there are different ways you can keep that underhook. If you don't want to switch, the, the, if you don't want to rotate the position, you can either go over under, you can start making the control right here. And you know, you're messing up already his plan to swim under. But this is a very good option by keeping his arm and to don't give you the chance to work the frames again or because whenever you guys are here, he recognizes that it's gonna be hard to go for your back. So it will change the idea of working the frames and bring the knee in front to us and work open guys. So I'm gonna lift and use my hand on the mat. He frame it so I cannot have the head. I'm here, but I can easily circle, control the bottom leg. So now he's stuck. He cannot go towards our back because I'm heavy on his chest. He cannot move his right knee in front of our belly as a frame because of my left hand control. So now, it's very important the way you are moving. I'm gonna slide forward, my thumb goes inside of the collar, and as soon as your right elbow will touch the mat, you're gonna step your left leg over. Now when I said the action, already having my left knee off the ground, because stepping from here, it's pretty high, right? Go to the, to the side. Like I, you don't know what is in there. So I like always to be here. From inside, boom, I, come, I touch, step. Now bring him close to me. I wanna keep his head close. So at this point, what I want to do, go deep, four fingers underneath his armpit, pull, and be heavy on his face. Remember, if your partner is able to look at you, he can reach. So now I, I'm putting all my pressure in the shoulder down. I lock my shoulder. And from here, I try to free my leg. It's gonna be just high, he's pretty tight. So as my partner doesn't want to unlock the fist, I'm gonna give him the obligation to stay there. And this control is the most important in that technique. There are different variations that you can control on the outside. But look what happens if you guys are on the outside. Whenever you guys are able to pause and pass, if he's gonna open the gut, open the gut, uh oh, I'm stuck, right? So what happens is that you are not gonna have a good control. So I always like, I prefer to, once we are into this situation, I go ready for the outside, Control his foot. So now he's straight. I'm gonna pause, step again, and now I'm gonna be here, look up. Straight, I kick straight. And now it's time to start to climb, keep escape, I'm pulling him towards me. Sit back. Whatever side my partner has on the mat will be my arm over the shoulder. So my partner has the, uh, the right side of the mat. Right arm over, body clinch, stretch. Work the second hook. One, two, three, you guys can get the points.